Hello, this video will show you how to set up email hosting for your company using Alibaba Cloud. If you don't already have an Alibaba Cloud account, you can sign up for free at www.alibabacloud.com. We'll be using the HMail server software running on a Windows Cloud server. To start, we need a domain name for our new venture. Log into Alibaba Cloud and, under the Domains and Website Product section, find a suitable domain and register it. For this video, we'll register my-new-venture.com. Next, under the Elastic Compute Service menu, we need to create a Windows Server. Click on Create Instance and choose a basic server running Windows Server 2016. Remember to add some internet bandwidth or the server won't be allocated a public-facing IP address. Place the order, wait a few moments, and the server is now running. Next, we need to set the DNS entries for the server. From the console, under Alibaba Cloud DNS, select the domain name and choose Configure. We first create an A record to name our server mail.my-new-venture.com. Then we create a mail exchange, or MX record, to tell the rest of the world that mail for our domain needs to be delivered to this server. We also need to create an Alibaba Cloud security group for the server. And open ports 25, 110, 143, and 587. We reset the password. Restart the server. Then connect to the server via a browser. Once logged in, we need to create a Windows Firewall rule to open ports 25, 110, 143, and 587 on there, too. We can now download and install HMail Server from www.hmailserver.com. We choose to install both the server and the administration tools. We create an admin password for HMail Server. Now we can run HMail Server Administration. We click Add Domain and enter our domain name. Let's create an email account for John Smith. We click on Accounts and then click Add. On the General tab, create an email address and set a password. On the Advanced tab, set the user's first and last name. The mailbox is now created. The user will now be able to receive email and can connect to the server with any email program in order to read it. Now we need to set up outgoing mail. For this, we'll sign up for an account with an SMTP relay service. We'll use the service from a company called SendGrid. There are many others available too. We sign up, choose the SMTP relay service, and create an API key. Now we know the relayer service name, port number, username, and password that we need to configure HMail server with. Note that SendGrid will allow incoming connections to its service on port 25 or 587. We will need to use 587 because Alibaba Cloud does not permit outgoing traffic from a server on port 25 for security reasons. Log into the server and HMail server administration. Under Settings, choose Protocols and then SMTP. Click on the Delivery of Email tab and enter the details given by SendGrid. We now have a fully working email server hosted on Alibaba Cloud that can send and receive email. We can create as many email accounts or mailboxes as we like for use within our company. And that's the end of this video. Thanks for watching. To find out more, Head to www.alibabacloud.com and sign up for an account, which includes free trial credit that will allow you to set up a cloud server of your own.